what what kind of guitarist are you do you think today like what do you do way more of and way less of or maybe not at all but you're you know you know perennially this style shows up in what you do well the kind of irony with me i mean i i'm in a way i'm kind of reaching to remove myself as much as possible from almost the 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 role of a musician in my own band um Hmm. I now have an extraordinary guitar player in my band, Guthrie Govan. Mm-hmm. I have an extraordinary keyboard player. I have an extraordinary band, period. And in a way, part of, of what I like about that scenario is that finally I feel liberated to just kind of step back from having to be a guitar player and just be a musical director and a producer and a writer, which is kind of what I always wanted to be in the first place. I never had any great ambitions to be a guitar player. It was only because I couldn't find anyone else in, you know, in the early 80s and the early, sorry, in the late 80s and the early 90s. When I started, I couldn't find anyone else that wanted to play the kind of music I wanted to play, which I guess people would call progressive, you know, rock. And at the time, that music was completely, it was almost illegal to play it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it, nobody wanted to play. Everyone wanted to be in U2 or Nirvana. Nobody mm-hmm. wanted to be in a band that played progressive or art rock or space rock or kraut rock or whatever you want to call it. So I ended up having to be a little bit of a jack of all trades. I had to learn a little bit of guitar, a little bit of keyboard, a little bit of bass, a little bit of drum programming. And that was how I started off. And I ended up being a guitar player almost by default because I couldn't find a guitar player. I could find a key, I could find a keyboard player eventually. I could find a drummer eventually. I could find a bass player, but I couldn't, I still couldn't find a guitar player. So I ended up being the guitar player in Porcupine Tree and, and for 15 years, that's what I did. So now I finally arrive at the point where I can actually say, you know what? I never wanted to be a guitar player. So I do play a little bit of guitar on the record. I, pl- I, I play some guitar, I play some keyboards, I play some bass. But actually, I have these guys in my band now that can do all those things much, much, much better than I can. Oh, sorry, all, all of this was more or less just a writing tool for you, like learning all these instruments? A, a writing and production tool. I don't want mm-hmm. to give you the impression that, you know, that I was only ever interested in writing music. I wasn't. I was interested in making, quote-unquote, making records. Mm-hmm. I I wanted to be able to hold in my hand one of the things that I that I was kind of totally enamored with as a kid. This you know this vinyl record. I wanted to be able to hold one of these things in my hand and say, I did this. This is mine, mm-hmm. my work. And I didn't even at that time. I don't think I even understood what words like producer meant. You know, I didn't realize that what I really wanted to be was a producer. And I think that is what I wanted to be, and I still want to be. Right. I wanted yeah. to be someone that was in control of the artistic process of creating a record, much like a movie director. Movie directors don't often appear in their own films, but they are guys that completely have control over what you see on screen. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, I'm not quite in that situation because obviously I'm still the singer in this band and that's kind of the guy that stands at the front of the stage. But certainly in terms of the actual musical performance, I'm I'm kind of in a way removing myself a little bit from, from the equation. Mm-hmm. Are you surprised at how good you got at guitar? And, and what are you good at on guitar? Um, I'm okay. I mean, you know, I, I, I think I'm adequate. I mean, I think like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of musicians that are not necessarily great players, um, I have a style that's probably recognizably me. Mm-hmm. So, if you ask me what I'm good at, I think I'm good at playing guitar in the style of Stephen Wilson. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I'm good at. I can't play anyone else's music. You know, if, it's funny, you know, you're at a party sometimes and people find out you're a guitar player. They say, oh, play something we know. I can't play anybody else's music. Hmm. I can't even play Stairway to Heaven. Right. You know, or <laughs> yeah. Sweet Child of Mine. I can't play any of those songs. Every other guitar player on the planet can play Stairway to Heaven and Sweet Child of Mine, except me. I can only play my own music and I can only play music that I've written for myself to play. Mm -hmm. So I'm an extraordinarily inflexible guitar player. And as I say, the reason for all that comes back to what I talked about before, which is that learning to play the guitar was purely a tool for me to be able to get this stuff I was hearing in my head somehow out into the real world. Mm -hmm. And um, Do you feel a little bit like Frank Zappa in your own band in that respect? Yeah, that... Zappa for me would be that that's the kind of that's the kind of role ultimately I would love to be in and in fact I think I am in that role now you know mm-hmm. a guy here's a guy that firstly very eclectic in the different different musical styles he worked in secondly he always had great bands and he always had people in his bands 
that were better than he was at performing mm. the, on the instruments. But he was the guy that had all the ideas and wrote all the music, and he was the guy with the imagination, mm -hmm. the vision. Yeah. And, and that, for me, is the role that I always imagine myself in. And I guess now I'm at one step closer to being in that situation. 